Hello everyone, this video is going to go over how to do an exponential curve fit using MATLAB. Uh, this is a sample uh, M file that is follows the the method shown in nonlinear curve fit proof PDF. You can Google this, it's a PDF available online. Uh, we're using it's part of a book, MATLAB fourth edition, numerical methods using MATLAB fourth edition. This book here. So we do our simple uh, clear all, close all, clear the command window, always start M files using these three kind of lines of code. Then we have our independent variable and our dependent variable. These are just sample kind of sample numbers we can use. You can use so you would put your data here. So whatever your independent variable is, you would replace this line with that, and your independent variable would go here or dependent variable go here. Then we're going to take the log of the dependent variable and just uh, a variable name switch to keep everything constant. We're going to use uppercase y for the, the log of lowercase y and we're going to change lowercase x to uppercase x just so we're, we're, we know what we're dealing with. Then we're going to sum both capital uppercase x and capital uppercase y, capital y. Then we're going to sum the square of capital X and we're going to sum X times Y. Uh, then we're going to determine what the length of capital X is, so that's, that's N. And then we're going to use this equation, B. This is known as a, a data linearization equation. Uh, I didn't make it up, it's just an equation that you use, so you can uh, follow this along. We're going to use this uh, A, this variable A is this the sum of y minus n times uh, this linearization equation that we just used divided by the sum of x. And then we can determine the uh, c coefficient is the exponential of b. And then to make our solution, we're going to run a little for loop. In this loop, we're going to have double x and double y. Uh, lowercase. So first we start, we just generate some empty empty arrays so that it runs a little quicker. Uh, we have a counter. We're going to determine how uh, how far between uh, numerical points we're going to calculate. In other words, what's the span between between points? In other words, we're going to start at zero and then we're going to start at zero and then we're going to going to move some amount up and then end at the max of our capital X which is the same as our lowercase x. First off we redefine we redefine double x as x of i and then double y is c times the exponential of a times x of i and then we increase our counter and then we're going to plot the results figure hold on we'll plot the two our initial data with uh, black stars and then plot the new data which will be a blue solid line and then a hold off. So when you want to plot multiple things you can use this hold on hold off command. So if we run this you can see that we have our uh, initial data in black stars and our curve fit as a blue line. So it works, works nice. So this code is available at firesciencetools.com at a link uh, shown below. So if you want to use it, feel free. Uh, it's just a sample code that uh, I wrote some time back. Hope you find this useful and have a good day.